I recently got back from a trip to Lake Como in Italy. This was an unreal place to visit and a crazy place to shoot. I think that this trip, coupled with the fact that the UK is collapsing in every way imaginable, has really sparked my love for Italy. We actually started this trip in Milan, then Como, but Como ended up being so good that I had to make a video just for it. For this trip, I took a load of Portra 160 and one roll of Portra 400. Everything was completely fine going through airport scanners and none of my films been ruined. So I think unless what you're shooting is super important, then taking things through scanners is totally fine as long as it's below 800 ISO. I was shooting my favorite Nikon FM, which I love because it's built like a tank and it's really reliable. And the Olympus Mu2. <laughs> I was shooting Portra 160 at 200 ISO but I usually overexpose by one stop anyway, so I was basically shooting Portra 160 at 160. We actually stayed in a place called Chernobyl, stop it, just three miles away from Como. Now you might think that it'd be pretty easy to get to Chernobyl from Como. Well, you would be wrong. We had to take a bus about 20 minutes to the town centre of Chernobyl, but our place was located on the hillside. So we had to get a taxi, which was 20 euros for about three minutes to get to the top of the hill. I know this isn't too bad, but I think I thought it'd be a bit easier than that. This is probably why most people just rent a car when they go to Lake Como, because it's quite a mountainous and hilly place to get around so it's just easier to rent a car. Unfortunately we were unaware of the fact that people tend to rent cars when they visit Lake Como so after the first day we just made the 45 minute walk each way whenever we wanted to go into town. This wouldn't have been so bad but it's pretty hot for a big lad like me. Our Airbnb was great and it was actually pretty cheap. Everything would have been perfect, but we realized once we got to our place that we hadn't got any food. So I had to walk along the old roads and pathways all the way down the hill to Little and back in about 30 degree heat. Absolutely brutal. On our second day, we planned to hop on a ferry and go over to a little town called Nesso.
Nesso is the sort of place you see on Instagram reels and all that jazz. It's got a massive waterfall that splits the town in two. you have to take 300 or so steps to get to the top and see the view from there. It's safe to say by the end of this I was one sweaty daddy. We grabbed some food and Aperol spritz from one of the only places that was open. I forgot to mention just how important Aperol spritz is once you're in Italy. You're not going to last very long without some Hi. cooling tasty Aperol spritz. Then we headed right back down to get the ferry to the city of Como. I really enjoyed shooting with Porsche 160. I really like the colours and tones, and I love that it's a lower ISO. It really gives me the opportunity to shoot at a lower aperture, which you wouldn't normally get when it's so sunny. I love the chance to shoot at a lower aperture because I'm too bad of a photographer to create any depth in any other way than shooting at 1.8. If you're not feeling too personally attacked, then maybe you are enjoying this video. If so, maybe give me a subscribe while you're sitting around and hanging out. I actually think that the city of Como is pretty shit compared to Chernobyl. Stop it. It's definitely more touristy and the view just isn't as good. We just grabbed some food while we were in town and then we took the three mile walk right back to our place. Along the way back, it was getting a bit darker and I wanted to try out the Olympus Mew 2 with the flash on things in the foreground while you have the lake and the mountains in the background. I quite like the way some of these shots have turned out and I just wish I'd tried quite a few more shots like that just to get that contrast of the bright flash in the foreground and however the background looks. On day three, we decided to hike up the side of the mountain where our house was. We were already 350 yard meters up, but where we were going to was like a thousand meters up. We were heading for Monte di Madrona. There were three crosses on the side of the mountain that we could see from where we were. And that's just where we headed for. I didn't take that many pictures during the hike because I was trying too hard not to pass out. This hike was a really cool thing to do and I don't think it's something that most people would do when they visit the area. One thing I love, if you've got the time, if you've got a whole day and you're not a bad walker, is just pick a route, use one of the many online map things on your phone, pick a random route and just go because you'll see so many crazy things along the way.
for our last night in Chinobio, c come on. We went for some food and of course, some more Aperol spritz down by the lakeside. The light was pretty perfect and there were loads of swans and stuff like that just hanging around. People walking their little weird little dogs and old men walking around with the top tops off and yeah it's a bit strange but it's nice. I took some of my favourite shots of the trip just in this location. I think it was just a mixture of the light and the swans in the lake and things like that. It just made for some really interesting shots. I'd suggest to anyone to go to Lake Como if they can. Unfortunately, in many ways, it's not the most accessible place. But if you have a rental car or something like that, then you can go to most places. As for a place to go with your camera, there aren't many better places to go. It's hard to not get good photos here. The weather and the climate is always changing there. So you're always gonna get different photos throughout, even if you were there for a week. This channel is all about photography, getting better together and learning. If you like this video, then I think you'll like the rest of the trip in Milan and Bologna. And that video will be coming soon, somewhere around here. So I think you should watch that next.